hi guys and good morning fresh out of the shower you guys i just washed my hair i have my hair in my little like um microfiber towel um i love hair wash days i love and hate them i hate them because it's such a chore after i wash my hair to blow it out straighten it curl it but i love getting into the shower and washing my hair a body shower just doesn't compare for how clean you feel after hair wash day oh like just washing your scalp and like oh it just it feels so good I'm so happy that i'm clean you guys seasonal allergies literally demolishing and destroying me i had a miserable last two days i never had seasonal allergies growing up i was just allergic to like cats and some animal dander i'm really allergic to horses too random but yeah some like pet dander um i'm allergic to but i never had seasonal allergies like hay fever like the sneezing the itchy eyes the itchy throat all that i never had that um but i remember growing up my mom had them really really bad in the springtime but i never had them and then like last year or the year before i can't remember i kind of started getting them this year is the first year i feel like i really have them and i think the pollen is also very very high this year because we had so much rain so i feel like everything's really really blooming um so yeah, California had so much rain, like more rain than it's had in years. So I feel like everything's blooming and pollen is blooming and it's just, you can kind of hear it in my voice. I have been miserable the last two days. Sunday was really bad. I feel like I was sick almost. And then on top of that, I was in my period. I'm like, why is this happening to me? It's just so rude. But I had a really good weekend. Um, I went with my mom to one of my, I have such a big mom side of my family. My mom is an only child but my grandma is one of 12 so i have a ton a ton of second cousins and i went to one of their baby showers on saturday and then my other cousin she's also having a baby and i'm so happy you guys i'm so happy for her she just had a girl she just turned one in january and then she's has, gonna have a boy and she's due in september and i'm so oh my god i can't wait to meet him i'm so excited i'm so happy for her that she's having a girl and a boy i just it doesn't get much better than that like it's you're so lucky i feel like if you are able to have a boy and a girl and you get to experience both i feel like it's so amazing so i had a really good weekend except for my allergies were destroying me demolishing me so today's tuesday i'm off today i just did my second load of laundry so let's just do a little vlog and i'm going to show you guys like my hair care routine because one of you guys had asked me what my hair care routine is it's pretty much always the same products and everything. I'm a creature of habit when it comes to my skincare and my hair care. I don't really switch it up. I switch up my makeup sometimes, but with skincare and hair care, I pretty much do the same thing every single time. So, so in the shower, I use these two things. I actually also wash my hair twice. Sometimes you just gotta wash your hair twice. Scalp needs the, the stimulation just everything it just needs to get clean dirty 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 hair i hate dirty hair um so this is a shampoo i pretty much always use it's the biolage hydro source i've been using it for years i like it because it's not super heavy i also really like the purology the purple bottle which is this one the purology hydrate shampoo this is really nice but it is very heavy um and i have the tendency to not because i have so much hair Sometimes I run into not completely washing all of the shampoo out like it'll get stuck right here And then I end up with some buildup and a little bit of grease So I don't use that a lot. This is like my all-time favorite 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 shampoo um, I was using a Moroccan oil to hydrate shampoo a little bit, but I realized I didn't like the smell of it I'm very picky about smells of biology just smells clean and I love it um, And then today I used which I also have the matching shampoo, but I just use the biology today <coughs> Excuse me um, the Redken All Soft Conditioner. I just used this on my hair today. It makes my hair super soft. Um, if you have like really shiny soft hair to begin with, I feel like the Redken All Soft can make your hair almost a little too soft. So for me, I have coarse hair, so it works for me. Um, so now after I got out of the shower and I brushed my hair out with this, which is the best thing ever to wash your hair out, to wash your hair out, to brush your hair out with. It's a wide tooth comb. This is what they use at salons if you're getting your hair cut or done. When your hair is wet, wash it out with this. It just prevents breakage and pulling on your hair and tugging on it. So once I transferred over to this, I would just use like a regular paddle brush to brush out my hair when it was wet. But once I started using this, I have not gone back. So after I got out and before I put it in this little um, microfiber towel, I use this Purology Multitasking Leave-In Spray. 
Um, this is for color treated hair and I've never colored my hair so I probably shouldn't be using this but it's just a small one and I just wanted to try it. Um, I use like the Kenra leave-in conditioner or the Eva NYC one and then I use the Keratin Healing Oil Hair Treatment just on my ends, just a little bit of oil. I love this oil. I use this oil or I use the Kerastol. So now I'm going to take my hair out of this. I like to leave this in for like, I mean I've left it in for five minutes, probably 30 minutes, just depends. Um, I like to leave it in for probably like 10-15 minutes. Because if I leave it in too long, my hair will get like a little bend in the front, which is annoying. So I'll link this to, oh, um, the brand is Aquise. I don't know how you say that. Don't ask me how to pronounce it because I'm not going to pronounce it right. So now I'm going to, hi, Bear. Hi. I wish you guys could see him. Hi, Kizzy. You can hear his little tootsies tapping. What you do? Get out of my butt. Get out of my butt. <laughs> You're so gross. Um, so now I always spray before I start blow drying my hair the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. If you guys buy anything that I'm talking about right now, buy this. It's a heat protectant and it helps your hair dry a little bit faster. The smell is so yummy. It smells like candy deliciousness. I try not to do it by my root because I don't want to make my hair greasy. Um, but this is like, I just brushed my hair, but this is like the natural texture of my hair. I feel so annoyed that I took for granted never having allergies growing up. I really took that for granted. Like I did not know, I did not realize how annoying it is. You feel like you're like kind of sick and it's so obnoxious. Do you guys have seasonal allergies where you live? I unlocked a brand new, I look so heinous right now. I unlocked a new season that I despise and it's spring. But I just despise winter, but it's spring too. So I really, Honestly, the only two seasons I like is fall and summer, which I used to just like summer, but oh, that's my coffee beefing in the microwave. So now I'm just parting my hair. Parting your hair with one of these combs is essential too if you like a really crisp part. My part isn't always crisp, like sometimes there's a little wonky. Now I'm going to take my round brush and my T3 blow dryer and blow out my hair so let's go do that guys okay, so this light from amazon that you could clip onto your phone i'm gonna clip it onto the viewfinder of this camera is so bomb look at that okay ready no light bad shadow of the nose light oh <gasps> look at that that's insane so there's a few different settings there is a like blue cool tone setting so this is a cool tone setting i do not like this lighting i mean this one there, or no, I'm sorry. This is just the regular white light. So it is like a cooler toned, whatever. Does the job. This is the fully warm, which I definitely really like because I like to look bronze and tan. And then this is a mix of the two. I think I like the fully warm the best. But look at the difference. Insane. I'm going to link it down below. So hair is done. That took me about like 35 minutes to fully blow dry my hair with a round brush and then straighten it. I have these little clips in here because I have a ton of little flyaways that like to fly up and away on the top of my head. Um, but my hair feels so good and clean right now. Now what I'm going to do is, which I'm dreading to do, but I need to do it for his sake. I need to take Bear on a walk because I like to do that every single day with him. It's good for me and him, but I don't want to have a sneeze attack when I go outside. <sighs> so let's get dressed, take Bear for a walk, and then I'll come back and finish my hair and do all that. But we need to put some SPF on first. I mean, you should wear SPF every day, but you really should pay attention this time of year when it's like warmer and everything. So this is the combo I have been using, the Elta MD Tinted UV Clear with SPF 46 and the Super Goop Glow Screen, which is SPF 40. The, I don't know if it's bad to make sunscreens, but I've been doing it. I'm like sweating right now. Does anyone else break out in a full sweat after they freaking do their hair? I love, love, love the smell of the Ulta MD. Always bring the SPF on to your neck, your decollete, and the top of your hands too. Top of your hands is very important too because if you drive a lot, if you're in the sun a lot, that's an area that I feel like shows aging that you want to keep protected. So I always do the leftover on my hands, neck, and chest. This is what my skin looks like after the SPF. Can you guys see me? Yeah, you can. Um, I'm so broken out right here. Just like in the hormonal area for right now. Between the allergies and the period, like I'm done. Why is this happening? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Hey, old man. Hey, you look like a maniac. 
back right now. Hey, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, look who's getting stretched out. Hi. Do you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Yes, look at this cute little body. Look at those. Oh, it's my favorite thing in the world when he stretches. Okay, let's get dressed. What the heck is this? Tissue. Okay, ready, Freddy? Of the day, this is not a good angle. I'll show you guys in the mirror. I'm wearing my Lululemon Aligns in the dark olive color, which I actually never wear because I have trouble pairing what to wear with them because they're like a deep dark olive. They're not like sagey. So I feel like they only look up with white, like they don't look up with black. And then I'm wearing, which is actually the first time I've worn this. I bought this back in December. This is a Viore tank top and it's like a heather-ish gray ribbed. I remember I tried it on on my birthday, on my birthday when I went to the store in San Jose and I loved it. And then I waited to buy it, but I get this in an extra small because for whatever reason, their tanks run a little bit bigger in the waist area for me and I do like the waist to be tight, um, but I like it because it's high neck. I need more high neck stuff. Okay, so this is what the tank and the leggings look like. I'm just wearing my geriatric feezies, my fake easy slides <laughs> from Target. Um, and I actually really like this tank. This is my first time wearing it. And I actually like that it's not like skin tight. It's a good amount of tight, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm wearing it with the olive green because I feel like this has that more like whitish gray tint, which I feel like looks good with the olive green. But let's roll. Okay guys, back from our walk. That was the first walk this spring where I felt like I got like a little toasty toasty, a little sweaty pity. I'm right now. I feel like I haven't eaten in a year, but I got these yesterday at Costco. This is the brand. It's a Japanese brand. Um, they also make those little pan, uh, panda cracker thingy majiggers um, too. They're called Choco Rooms, you guys. These are the most delicious thing in the entire world. So this is like a cracker and then it's dark chocolate and then it's milk chocolate. So you get a combination of the two. The texture of these I feel like is what really makes it. Oh my God. I'm about to make tuna, but I'm so hungry. Oh my God. You guys, it's the texture. It's like a crisp kind of saltyish cracker and then with the dark and the milk chocolate. These are so good. I'm obsessed with these. Um, so if you see these at Costco or your local store, buy them. Thank me later. They're so freaking good. Oh my God. But I'm about to make tuna right now, per usual. I make tuna at once a week. And I have it one to two times a week, bare minimum. I love tuna. I've always loved tuna and I love how I make it. I make really good tuna. Um, like all red right there. I think I'm gonna do it in lettuce instead of like on bread. I usually like to do it on toasted sourdough. That's my favorite way of having it. But I'm gonna do it on like little tuna boats, like in a little lettuce. Add some little Persian cucumber slices on top or on the side. And have that for lunch because I'm trying not to eat as much bread. For these next two weeks, I'm going to Vegas next weekend. I'm about to be in a bathing suit. I'm about to be in tight stuff. And I want to be like, I don't want to be puffy. I want to be flat. Flat. <laughs> this is my favorite tuna. It's the Kirkland Albacore Solid White Tuna in water. The key to tuna is, for me, is making sure all of the water is drained out. Like, I don't want any water. And I love, love, love relish in my tuna. So I do mayonnaise, mustard, relish, and salt and pepper. Did I just get tuna juice on my shirt? I'm gonna be so annoyed. I feel like I can't even talk right now because that's how hungry I am. Like, I feel like I'm gonna like keel over and die. This is how she looks. And then I'm gonna rinse my lettuce off, cut up some little cucumber, and then assemble it. So I'm assembling my little smorgasbord right now. I love having a smorgasbord for lunch. Like just a little bit of snafu of everything. I need it all, I'm starving. So on the side, I have green crunchy grapes. Then I have, I think there's either little Persian cucumbers or cocktail cucumbers, um, but they're the smaller ones. These are a lot tastier to me than English cucumbers. And I'm just gonna chop those up and either place them just on the side or on top of my little lettuce boats. I'll show you guys when I'm done. So good, a little snack, very refreshing and very hydrating. There's a lot of water in cucumbers, which is great. Now on the side, my newest obsession. I got them at Whole Foods the second time I bought them. I bought them yesterday. The bag is gone. These sweet corn toasted snack crackers. You guys. They're kind of sweet. They almost remind me of like a, a fortune cookie, but like a cornbread fortune cookie, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have 
some on the side along with my cucumber. Hey guys, here is my little lunch. I see lots of green, but I'm so excited to devour this. I'm a little tuna boat, some crunchy green grapes, the little corn crackers, and then my little cucumbers. I'm so excited to eat this. And then we have a sleeping angel after his walk. Hi. Was that so fun out there? Did we go for a walk? Did you go potty? You guys, I'm convinced he saves all of his shits for our walks. Like he just loads them up and then gets ready to blow when I take him on walk. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there you go, bear. All right, this is all that's left. Bear, what do you think? This is the perfect bite for you. Oh, oh, he's so gentle and so sweet. Okay, so I just finished lunch, but I want to show you guys some things I picked up from Zara recently. First off, we got to start off with this set. You guys, this is the most darling set. The shorts are really short, so I don't really know exactly where I'm going to wear this to, but I picture this on the Amalfi Coast in Italy, eating fruit on a balcony with my really, really hot husband. This is what I'm picturing. But um, I actually got this because I saw this online. It like kept selling out and I thought it would be really cute with jean shorts or jeans. Like in the summertime, this color is so pretty and I've never bought anything this color. And I just feel like crochet never goes out of style. It's very timeless. Um, but then I saw they had matching shorts and I'm like, okay, that outfit, I need to figure out a place to wear this. It needs to be somewhere where it's like borderline beachy vacation because the shorts are really, really short. Um, and then I got this, which is just like a plain strappy bodysuit, but I bought it because it's like a pretty steel charcoaly gray color and I don't have any, any bodysuits in this and I just feel like it's a little bit different than wearing black. Black is like my comfort zone. Like I feel like if I never know what to wear at night, if I'm going out, I always throw on a black bodysuit. So I just feel like this is a little bit different. And then this, I love this because I love the gold detail right here. It's a little strapless tube. I just think that this makes it a little bit different and anything with like this little hoop situation just reminds me of, I don't know, it reminds me of like stuff my mom used to wear in like the early 2000s, like little tops like this, little gold hardware. I love the shape of this and this color is super cute with light jeans. I feel like this is another good summer top that's just kind of out of my comfort zone in terms of color. I feel like I always stick with neutrals, but these are just timeless, but a little bit different. So this is what I got from Zara. The camera's dying, but I want to show you guys really quickly. You cannot see my face. What I picked up from the Sephora cell. You guys, I was so excited about this. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And this is in the shade Universal. There's two different shades. It was sold out online and sold out like near me. And then my mom found it in the city um, in San Francisco Sephora on Powell Street. And I am obsessed with this palette. I just feel like it's very universal, like the palette's name. I have a swatch this in store. I put this on my eyelid. I put a combination of these two as highlight down the center of my nose and on the top of my cheek. This could also be used on the eye or as highlight. This is super cute in the inner corner or underneath the brow bone. And then this pink can be used as like a blush topper or just as, oh, I just can't. The packaging, I literally can't. I love like palettes that you can use that aren't super big, like eyeshadow palette because I never use those, but like I feel like a four, like a quad, like those are really nice to have because I feel like they're easy to travel with or just like throw in your makeup bag and you know there's a purpose for, you know, each color and they're multifunctional. Se second thing I got is the Givenchy Prism Libre. This is the powder that's in another little four. Oh, why is it not focusing? Um, I think there's, is there four different colors or two different colors, but it's pink. It has a slight pink tint and I've heard great things about this powder. This is like a setting powder you could do under your eyes, all over your face. I'm so excited to use this all over my face because not all over my face, but under my eyes and maybe like under here. Sorry, you guys can't even see me. Um, I'm really excited to use this because I hate powders on my face. I just don't like the feeling. I feel like it makes me look dry. I hear great things about this. I hear that there's a slight shimmer to it and that it's not drying. It still leaves your skin super dewy. So I'm really excited. And I was excited because these are like two higher end makeup products and I love high end packaging and everything. So I'm very excited to have these. Those are the only two things I bought from the Sephora sale. I'm trying to be more selective on what 
Hello? Okay, hi. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more selective in what I'm purchasing in general. Meanwhile, I just bought a yellow two-piece set that looks like I have to go to the Amalfi Coast and eat fruit and grapes on a balcony. But I'm trying to be more selective, at least in terms of makeup, about what I'm buying because I just don't... I just don't wear makeup all the time, like at all. And when I do wear makeup, I wear the same thing. So I was trying to buy things that I actually needed which I really really wanted this and I feel like I'll get a lot of good use on this and I really really was in the market for a new powder so I'll let you guys know how I like both of these but I wanted to show you guys them Okay, another thing, you guys. I'm really picky with protein bars because I feel like a lot of them leave a bad aftertaste and they just don't taste that good. And I just, I don't know. There's a lot of sugar. So, these little Simply Protein Bars. Probably the best protein bar I've ever tried. This is the dark chocolate sea salt. There is only one gram of sugar in this and 15 grams of protein and 150 calories. You guys... It's like a Rice Krispie bar is the texture. Dark chocolate and sea salt, uh, chocolate and peanut butter, or the lemon coconut one, which I love all of them. Lemon coconut's probably my second favorite. It's literally like a crispy wafer bar instead of a chunky, chewy, gritty protein bar. I hate that. So it's literally just creating a Rice Krispie treat, but it's only one gram of sugar. I'm gonna try these, Simply Protein. One thing, I cannot wash my sheets without this. Smells exactly like the laundry beads I use. Half to spray mattress pad, these pillows um, when you're washing your bed. I always bite the end off and then I start peeling. One for me, one for a bear. Either way, these are the best string cheese, the Galbani. Is that what it is? Yep. The best string cheese. I hate the cheese heads ones, and I don't like other ones. This one's fresh. Oh, I will say, I think I tried the mozzarella stick from the Whole Foods brand, 365. I think I tried those mozzarella sticks, and they were actually pretty good. But, like, this, compared to, like, cheese heads and the other ones that they carry at normal grocery stores, Claw bodies. Okay, wait, you guys. You know how this is the first time I've ever worn this Viore tank top? Literally took the tags off today. I love how this fits. It's so comfortable. You know, sometimes higher tops like this or something can be like really uncomfortable and like leave red marks and be super tight and like the shelf bra can be super tight. This is so comfortable and this is so buttery. It's like a buttery rib. It's not like a cheap rib that's like stretchy and doesn't like fit good. Like it's so comfortable but tight but not too tight on the waist. I want to buy this in like a million colors now um, But I am just going to Do some stuff on my computer And wait for my sheets to be done They're in the dryer right now um, You guys, I was just reading Do you guys Okay, so Morgan Stewart She was on Rich Kids of Beverly Hills And then she was on E! News She, I love her I've always loved her I loved her since I ever like first saw her Just how she is she's very real she's very raw and i feel like she's very honest and raunchy like her humor is raunchy which is my type of person anyways i was just reading her boobs and lubes blog that she started i think when she was in her mid 20s or early 20s and i just read like five posts from it i don't think it's up anymore but oh my god i love her she's a bomb but i'm gonna do some computer work um wait for my sheets to be done and just rot on the couch so i'm also gonna edit this video so i'm gonna upload that too um so thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So you guys let me know if you like this style of vlog. I haven't vlogged in a while. I don't know. I like was doing a lot of sit down videos and then I was like doing too many vlogs. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know.